A company has purchased a plant for 10 lakhs with a useful life of 6 years. It expects that 15 lakhs will be required to replace the plant after 6 years. To ensure that money is available at the time of replacement, the company has created a sinking fund. You are required to determine the amount to be deposited annually if the fund earns interest at 8% per annum. Now, what we have is a question for future value annuity. So we know that future value annuity is equal to the periodic payment that you make, open bracket, 1 plus r raised to the power of n minus 1, the whole thing divided by r. Okay, this is your formula. And now they have given us the compound value factor of annuity at 8%. Okay, that's why you've got 0 0.08. Remember, 8% means 8 upon 100, which means 0 0.08. And the 6 over here is for 6 years. So it is 8%, the compound value factor annuity for 8% for 6 years. So what's important for us is it's 6 years. We need to have 15 lakhs in place 6 years later. Okay, and the interest rate is 8% per annum. Okay, so this is how much we have bought for now. It is not going to be important for our question because the question is how much we need to keep aside, have ready six years later. Okay, so the future value annuity in our question is 15 lakhs. What's missing? is P and now there are two ways you can solve this okay we can literally substitute the value for everything in this bracket okay so it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.08 close bracket raised to the power of 6 minus 1 upon 0 0.08 right and we can take this further 15 lakhs is equal to the P which we don't know, open bracket, 1.08 raised to the power of 6 minus 1 upon 0 0.08. Now the reason I'm doing this through the long cut, even though they've literally given us that value, is in case they don't. If they do, it's a very simple calculation which I will do over here once we are done with the longer cut. Okay, so 15 lakhs is equal to the periodic payment into the solution for what's in the bracket. Okay, and if you've got a simple calculator, you simply take 1.08 into 1.08. The moment you press equal to once, it is to the power 2. Keep pressing equal to and count till 6. So 3, 4, 5, 6. This is to the power 6. And then we subtract 1. So minus 1, we get this, divided by 0 0.08. And we get that. And let's see, 7.33592. 9. Okay, so one more time. 7.335929. And you know what that looks like? That's exactly the number that we have here. Okay, so it's 7.335929 and now we solve for P. This entire number on this side is multiplication and goes on the other side, it becomes division. So it's going to be 15 lakhs upon 7.335929 is equal to P and therefore P is equal to P is equal to 15 lakhs, 15 lakhs divided by 7.335929. Okay, and you get 2 lakh 4473. 2 lakh 4473. Now, the simpler method, assuming that we've been given this, 
I can simply write that the future value annuity is equal to P multiplied by the CVFA. And I know that the future value annuity is equal to 15 lakhs. I do not know P, but I know that the CVFA is 7.335929 and therefore I know P is going to be equal to 15 lakhs upon 7.335929 and therefore finally our answer P is equal to 2,4473 and if you really want to get into decimals 0 0.08. I hope this video has been helpful. I request you to please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.